I just want to make it clear that being who we are isn't a burden. To me, it's an honor to be a black educator. So for black folks, black men in particular, I really enjoyed that because it was such a unique opportunity to pour into our young people. When I work with my black students, and that's really important to me. Just to see these students thrive um, has been the greatest blessing of being in education. That also is like some extra work that is on the table. This is what we call the black tax. And being black in America, you're gonna have an additional responsibility. That you're always navigating and figuring you're not doing enough. Racism, as it relates to African people, negates our humanity. And it is overwhelming, but it also impacts you. Everyone um, that was black was showing up with the symptoms. I can't have peace if my brother is getting hurt. And so it produces stress. Seeing it on, you know, widescreen just brings up those feelings. I started to think about Ahmaud Arbery, just in terms of mental health in general, 2020 wasn't good. I didn't see there being a real effort to really address these issues. We said we have to deconstruct the system. We center the invaluable experience and insight that Black scholar practitioners possess to advance equity, inclusion, and systemic change. These are the Black voices from the ivory tower.